Good morning, my minions. We are probably running a little bit behind this morning, but we've got a long weekend of roughing work at Maloche. Project Maloche. Got some materials from Ari Michael Company, my go-to supply house in the Raleigh, North Carolina area. I'm hoping we can get a good bit of work completed on the first floor. Should be finishing up the second floor today and then moving down to the first floor to start the cut down there. Hello YouTube. It is Saturday. December 13th, what is this, part four of Project Maloche. We've got our splice collars installed. As you can see, we don't have any broken flex ducts across the ceiling. Everything is spliced together. We've got our return chases sealed and headed off. And we've actually moved downstairs. There's another spot that there's a splice and no raw flex. But we've moved downstairs, cut some holes in the floor, and I wanted to show you that. So we've got a bunch of flex piled around down here. We've got two registers that will go into this kitchen area. One back here somewhere, probably. One here at this window. We're going to go with two on this room as well. One here, one here. We've got a return in the floor. Another return in the floor. A register at the front window. Got another return here in the living room. In the floor. Under there somewhere. Over here in the mother-in-law suite, we've got a return here in this corner, a supply over here by the back door, a small boot, four inch in the utility room for conditioning of this space. Up here we've got a guest suite, or a guest room. That one's got a register here under the window, a return in the corner, the office, register under the window, return in the corner, and then the foyer has a register by the window. So we're getting return from all over the house, and supply throughout the house obviously the crawl space is going to require a little bit of digging to get my plenums down through the holes I don't think I showed you those there we are so we're going to bring the return duct up through this hole from the crawl space it'll stand up come over and then drop down to a downflow position furnace with the coil underneath it. We're going to go 90% furnace and send the vent pipes out somewhere on this wall here. We're going to end up with a heat pump water heater which is probably the second time I've ever heard or seen one but the heat pump water heater is going to sit in the corner. So we're definitely taking combustion air from outside on this furnace when we set it in there. But I figured I would give you a progress report on how things have been going and we will record some more tomorrow, Sunday, when we come back and actually start running some flex and connecting some boots and stuff like that. So, the wife is being a pyromaniac. Check this out.
She's trying not to catch her hair on fire. Anyway, I'll check in with you guys tomorrow, and we'll upload Sunday evening. Thanks. We've made some progress today. Didn't get anything in these holes yet, but we went through the hole several times. We've got a lot of our, all of our boots cut in, except for the two in the kitchen. We're waiting on those at this point. So we've got a small supply in the utility room, a return in the mother-in-law suite, a supply in the mother-in-law suite. If we come up here, we've got a guest room, and we've got a supply there at the window, and a return in the far corner. Up here in the office, we've got a return in the corner, a supply at the front window. We've got a supply at the front door. Come around to the old living room, and we've got another supply at the window, a return in the corner, a return in the dining room, a supply at the front window in the dining room, another supply, small supply at the window on the side, dining room, kitchen does not have anything in it as they're still uncertain as to where appliances and cabinets are going to be, don't want to uh, screw it up. Back here in the family room we've got a large supply at the back windows and over there a return in the floor for the large family room. I think we made some pretty good progress this weekend. It could have been potentially more progress if I'd had some cubes or boxes to put in there. Hello. Hi. <laughs> If I'd had some boxes to put in the crawl space, I could have tied some flex lines in. But without those boxes, I just hung everything back to where it will go and uh, go from there. I had a wonderful assistant this weekend back there, blinding her. She's been blinding me all day with her headlight. No. Um, had her running around in the crawl space. Dragon Flex around, had her ceiling boots in the floor. She moved or I moved the light, I don't know. I'm not very dexterous like this. But it's been a good weekend. I've made some progress, which is exactly what I needed to do since I'd missed last weekend. Upstairs is finished as far as what's going to get covered by drywall. A couple of very minor things that I'll address next weekend when I come back to do the distribution boxes for downstairs and I think I'm going to go ahead and throw the plenums in next weekend too so that we've got everything tied in and connected so thanks for watching like subscribe comment and share boo we'll see you next weekend